Hello you guys, it's Caitlin and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be unboxing the iPhone 16 Pro. By no means am I a tech channel, but I like to do these tech unboxings here and there whenever I like upgrading my Apple products. You guys loved when I unboxed my iPhone 14 Pro and I've had this phone for two years now and honestly I love it. I like to upgrade my phone like every two to three years and since this year they actually upgraded the camera system, I was very very interested as someone who films a lot of content on their phone. This is the iPhone 16 Pro in white titanium and it has 520. 12 gigabytes of storage on it. We're going from 256 gigabytes to 512 gigabytes. I was thinking about getting the terabyte, but I feel like that was kind of excessive. The main seller with this thing is that it actually has a camera button, which I feel like is kind of controversial from what I've seen on TikTok. A lot of people are kind of hating on this feature, but as someone who like films and uses their camera so much, like I was obsessed with that idea of having like a button to control your camera, but I can see why the average person might not need that. It also has 4K video at 120 frames per second, which is so nice because I love vlogging on my phone around in New York City. Anyways, let's just get on into this. Also, if you guys like these tech videos, please give it a like and also subscribe to my channel if you want to. I would just appreciate it a lot. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the intro, but if you guys are curious on what I'm doing with this phone, because I sometimes get questions like, what are you doing with your old phone? I'm actually trading this in. This is my first time doing Apple trade-in. I got like a nice discount on this phone, so it actually made it also worth it to upgrade because I don't know if I would pay full price for this for how good my iPhone 14 is because it's not that big of a jump. But with the Apple iPhone trade-in, I feel like it's kind of worth it. But anyways, let's open this box. Please ignore my name they're not doing let's open this box oh my gosh oh wait there was another sticker on the back oh my gosh wow this is what the iPhone is looking like I got the same color like the white titanium <gasps> they changed the charging cord okay wait we'll get into that later Oh, there's the camera button. The metal here was super shiny, but now it's like a matte, which I honestly prefer more. And the glass isn't as shiny on the back too. Like it's more of a matte like finish, kind of like the sides. I think that person looks a lot cleaner. The cameras look pretty identical. It just looks like the iPhone 13, 14, and 15 Pro cameras. Same with the buttons on the side, but then on this side where the power button is, this right here is the camera button. We're gonna be testing that out today. Let's just hold the power button and it should turn on. Wait, I'm so excited. Ugh, that part is always so satisfying, the hello part. Okay, and then we're gonna do the quick start. Wait, but before we do that, because it's gonna take a hot minute, let's see what's in the rest of the box. So in the back here, once you pull out the iPhone, you can see the charging cord. This charging cord actually has a different finish than the other ones that I've been seeing. I also know that this one's USB-C to USB-C. That was also kind of why I felt like upgrading, honestly, because all my like MacBook, iPad, all my stuff uses USB-C. Now I just have to upgrade my AirPods and everything will be universal with the same exact phone charger, which I personally just think that's so much more simple, but I love the like matte texture on this cord. Like it's so fun. There's also some more stuff in here. Not much though, this box is pretty light. Okay, yeah, and then they give you the eSIM instructions. Also, oh my God, they don't give you a sticker. I kind of liked getting the Apple stickers, even though I never use them or put them on stuff. It's like a little accomplishment to get like an Apple sticker. But yeah, that is the box. So we're gonna do the quick start. I'll be right back. Oh my God, wait, you guys, I'm setting up the iPhone right now and it talks about an action button. And I didn't even realize earlier when I was walking you guys through it, like the switch button for your ringer is now just a button. I don't know if I really like that. But it says here that you can use it to open the camera, turn on your flashlight, or access your favorite iPhone feature. So I guess it's a little bit more customizable. Right, now it's finally transferring all the data from my other iPhone. And I'll get back to you guys. It is a full day later from when you guys last saw me. And I finally have the iPhone here set up. It took like overnight to finish like uploading everything to iCloud, which has never happened to me before. When I did the iPhone 14 for my iPhone 11, it probably took like 15 minutes. But for some reason, it took over 24 hours. But anyway, my iPhone looks pretty much identical to this one. You can see everything like pretty much just transferred over, even my widgets. And we're obviously gonna run through the new features with this phone, but the first thing we're gonna do is actually put a case on this phone. It stresses me out not having a phone case on. I have quite a few cases to unbox here for you guys from just one name. They are a new phone case brand that I recently discovered and I'm completely obsessed. And I actually wanna say thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. I have a discount code and all the links to everything I'm about to show you will be in the description, but let's run through the cases that I picked 
picked out from their website. Look at how pretty these ones are. This is first their magician phone case and this comes in like 35 different patterns and these are all the like floral ones that I picked. This one's kind of giving fall. And then this is my favorite one which is probably gonna be the one I put on my phone which is the bows. Also, I don't know if you noticed already but these are all MagSafe as you can see. This is the last magician phone case that I picked out. I feel like this one is so Pinterest coded. Then we have the five designs of their Explorer phone case which I feel like gives off kind of like hiking outdoorsy vibes. There is what they all look like. My favorites honestly are these light pastel ones. This green mint color is so pretty and then also this baby pink. All of these phone cases are MagSafe and then also if you can see they have like a camera lip here which will protect your phone if it falls or drops. All of these phone cases have full coverage protection and are made from 100% recycled materials. I love how they ship in these little like carriers. I think I'm gonna choose the pretty and pink phone case as of right now. Easily snaps in there. Since this is the iPhone 16 Pro it also has the extra space here for that camera button. You can totally see that camera lip protection. There is no extra lift along with the screen lip here as well. Once again, thank you Just One Name Phone Cases for sponsoring today's video. If you are in need for a new phone case that's affordable and reliable, use my code CaitlinDW20 for 20% off site-wide. All the links to the phone cases I just showed you will be all in the description box. Anyways, let's get on into the features of this phone. I feel like there's like some type of window glare. So as you guys can see, there's a button here. Let's press it and it opens up the new phone camera. Let me start screen recording. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is my first time seeing iOS, I think it's 18. So like the control center and everything looks drastically different right now. I'm not used to seeing the new iOS update. My iPhone storage cannot handle that on the other one. Oh my gosh, you can like switch through the control center. Okay, I think I'm screen recording. Yes, I am. Oh my gosh. So here is what the camera, it looks pretty similar to how my old one looked like. Oh, they have a spatial mode now. Oh, this is for the Apple Vision Pro, which I don't own. Okay, and everything else pretty much looks the same, except for this button up here, what's this grid? Okay, there's filters, I guess. Wait, let me record me testing out the zoom on this camera, because I've heard it's pretty good. Here's what it looks like. It goes all the way up to 25, wow. That's quite an update. I think my iPhone 14 only has up to 15 times zoom. I have 10 times more of that now, which is actually really, really good. Can't wait for the concerts with that. I'm now in settings and I'm gonna go to the camera and switch that record video to the highest as possible. And we're gonna test that out because I'm gonna go vlog me picking up a screen protector so you can kind of see me videoing myself on the camera out and about. Oh my gosh, the slow-mo also can go up to 4K at 120 frames per second, which that is pretty good if you ask me. And then here's the action button. Okay, so it looks like you can just kind of choose it to its own liking of what you want it to be. Wow, you can make it a Shazam button. That's kind of cool. I honestly have no idea what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to keep it on the silent mode like if it was a normal ringer button switch because I don't know what else I would use it for to be honest. Because why would you make it a camera button when you already have a dedicated camera button on the phone already? That's what I'm asking myself. <laughs> I hate that you're seeing my dirty room behind my camera right now. You can actually like touch the but, or maybe not, wait, oh, 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 that's gonna take some getting used to. Oh, it's like a touch screen too, with the button. I don't know how practical that is. Like I'd rather just use my fingers. I do like though how you can literally be anywhere and actually press the button. Oh, and then you press it again and it takes a picture. So it kind of functions as like an actual pressing button and then also like a sliding kind of touch screen thing to be honest. I mean, it makes kind of sense because it almost indents in. Honestly, I feel like that's pretty much it. I feel like the camera was the main sell point with this phone. Also the whole Apple AI, like the artificial intelligence thing, but like the iPhone didn't actually come with that. It's more of like an update that's gonna come later. Which I also think it's so weird that they're advertising that as like a sell point for this when it doesn't even come with it. But it's not like I can actually really talk about that either. So this is where we're at right now. I hope all my photos upload. <laughs> I didn't realize until after filming this that I wouldn't even be able to test out the 4K video because the whole entire video is pretty much filmed on 1080p. The one thing I'm really happy about this camera is honestly the zoom. It's so, so nice. I also found out that the 4K at 120 frames per second was, didn't work with the wide angle. I also find this footage to be a lot more smoother than my old phone. And then one thing I thought was really, really cool is that I could actually be listening to my music and recording at the same exact time. And the music wouldn't be picked up in the video. I don't know, for some reason, whenever I would vlog myself out in public, I would hate that it would have to stop my music. Also, the audio is so much better on this phone as well.
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed another tech unboxing video. Let me know if you still want to see a what's on my iPhone 16 Pro. I would love to film that video. And thank you Just One Name for sponsoring. Make sure to go check them out and all the links to all the cases I showed you guys will be down below. Also, comment below the Apple emoji if you made it this far. I like seeing who actually watches up to the end of the video. And also follow me on Instagram for more content at Caitlin underscore. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Thank you.